how long did it take you for you to get your first property? It took me about a month to get. It was a very emotionally challenged month. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's obviously work a little bit. You will get according to what you put in, right? You've hit the nail in the head. I think you'd 100% need to have skin in the game. Because there's a lot of these fake gurus right now. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. Come in, buy my course. I'll show you how to do it. And in one week, you will get your first property and in all yeah. sunshines and rainbows. Yeah. It's, well, let's be honest. It's not like that. I mean, it's not a get rich quick scheme. It's obviously work a little bit. You will get according to what you put in, right? But you have to have skin in the game. Absolutely. 100%. I think you've hit the nail in the head. I think you'd 100% need to have skin in the game because having skin in the game is what's going to cement your future in the sense of like a lot of people, exactly what you just said, you know, have got the intention that it's sort of like, you know, get rich quick and it's sort of like microwavable pizza. Well, it's not. It's, it's, it's like it's boiling cow heel soup and it's boiling oxtail. You know, it takes hours to cook, right? That's what it's, it's like. So, um, yes, it's nothing like get rich quick. I mean, can you get deals and, and, and can you get a property within the first day? Yeah, I've had students obviously get pro properties within the first week, you know. But is that the norm? Not really. I think, you know, you have to obviously learn the ins and outs. You have to be committed long term, which means that whatever hurdles that you're going to come across, you will be willing to overcome it. And exactly what you said, when you have skin in the game, you are more likely to stick around until it works. But when you haven't got much skin in the game, it's like, oh man, I've tried it, it didn't really work, on to the next kind of thing. So mm. yeah, it's definitely not, it's everything but a very easy process. Is it rewarding? Is it, is, is, is it worth it? 100%, but it's not gonna just come that easy. How long did it take you for you to get your first property? My first property took me about a month to get. Um, it took me about a month to get. That was a very, I think that was a very, um, what's the word I want to use? It was a very emotionally challenged month because, you know, being around in my job, you know, you know, working at Jaguar Land Rover at the time, I'm like the king of the group, the, the top of the group. And you know, everyone, everyone kind of worships me. And then having to get into property and get into rent to rents and people are telling me like, nope, I don't do business with you and stuff like that. I'm like, man, what are you talking to? Um, but obviously the, <laughs> the ego thing. Yeah, it was a hundred percent. It was an ego thing at the beginning. Um, but my ego obviously quickly got like, you know, crushed very quickly Flat. because I'm like, listen, I don't care what you say. I am going to get a deal and I'm going to make, I'm going to make this happen. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, you know, be a hero and you mm -hmm. want to give me a deal and I'm going to give you all the gratitude in the future, you do that. If you say no, no problem. I'm not going to move on. So I think like, because I kind of like exert that kind of energy that I'm going to, I'm going to do it regardless. I'm not asking for you to obviously give well i am asking for, for, for you to give me a, a property deal but if you don't i just move on to the next i think that's kind of like was my mindset I'm, I'm i'm just gonna make it but it was a very tough month loads of rejections and no's and oh my my very first deal the landlord um is from the uk but he lives in dubai right and i actually got the deal through open rent and i remember ellen was the one who actually found the deal she was obviously the one who who initially spoke to him via email, but I spoke to him over the phone. Man, this guy spent an hour and a half on the phone grilling me, asking me every single thing about myself, my family, what I do, everything. I was thinking like, man, I'm not really going to get this deal, you know. But I think because I was just resilient, because it's very, very tough, questioning me, how am I going to pay him the rent, what do I do, how much money I make. Um, but because I think, because I was resilient, and I was just like, yeah, listen, man, I know this is my first deal, but... This is the reason why I'm giving you a very good deal. You need to give it to me because you're going to get rewarded in the future. I'm going to become successful. Give me a chance. And I think that kind of energy was, um, yeah, was what made him give, give it to me, I think, in the end. Is he a Brit an English guy? He's an English, he's an Asian born. No, I don't think he's, yeah, he's Asian, um, but obviously he was born in the UK. So he's got an English accent, but he lives in Dubai. Yeah. yeah. I've had a similar situation. I mean, not for my first deal. My first deal... I would say the man did trust me. I had hundreds of no's before I started working with him. And now I have about 26 from his from him alone. So I'm glad I didn't give up. Yeah. But I've had a situation where someone did grill me like hard. In fact, he gave me the keys. 
he said, okay, yes to everything, signed, left the house. I was taking an inventory before, you know, like just five minutes later, he came back and said, no, 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 I changed my mind. I actually, I, I don't know about this and I'm not really sure. And so I had to, you know, try to convince him again yeah, from scratch, yeah. you know, like literally do the exact same thing. Yeah. Oh my God. So I feel you. Like when you were, yeah. And plus, at least I was face to face. You were on the phone. It's even worse. Like you can't see his uh, body language. Mm. Can't really know how, what he's thinking about. He was face to face. You kind of know where his body language yes, is directing you. Correct. If it was face to face, it it would be a lot better. Maybe I could obviously build a rapport. But it was over the phone, and obviously, and I'm not English. I haven't got an English accents. All of a sudden, being like, Ooh, who's this fresh? Who's this fresh? Trying to read my property out. So. It was a very tough conversation. Well, obviously, me and him are good friends now. So, you know, he's, he's actually one of my investors. You know, he's invested in, 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 in my deal. So it was worth the hour and a half of grilling. Yeah, obviously. I mean, yeah. look, that, and that's how we learn. Correct. Obviously, the first property, first deal. It's the one deal that gives you hope, that shows you that this strategy works. Correct. And that brings you the first initial income. So. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I think it was a massive belief, a massive belief boost. Because I feel like when you watch videos, when you go to seminars, and when you see people, yeah, you believe, but your belief is probably only sixty, seventy percent. You know, it's it's not until you get your first deal and you see the first set of money coming into your account that you feel like, oh, actually, this actually works, man. All I have to do now <laughs> is just multiply this. Um, yeah, it was definitely a massive belief sort of like boost. You know, when when you just mentioned about seeing people getting results and you looking at them on social media yeah on their stories sharing their wins and showing that they're getting yeah. results were you trying to compare yourself in a way yeah i think i think it's uh, i think it's completely normal 100 percent. i think when you get started off you know you compare yourself with people and that's kind of like what that's kind of like, like i think you're probably the number one recipe to being unhappy so but for me, I, I, I was comparing myself with people, but I, I, I didn't do it in an unhappy way. I used to do it like, wow, well done for you, man. If you can do this, bro, I'm going to do this. So I was comparing myself in that kind of way as opposed to be like, oh, he's got this and I haven't got this and uh -huh. I'm sad. I think if, if, I, if, if I was comparing myself in that way, I'll probably never get started. Um, so, yeah, I think, you know, going to seminars, seeing people get success, that's very good. It gave me, you know, new, si new sites, um, and it gave me obviously, you know, um, you know, belief that you know what, if he can do it, if she can do it, if he can do it, if they can do it, they are human just like me. I can do it as well. I think that's all it takes. That's all it takes. That's all it really took me to really know that I can do this and really make me feel like you know not to give up. Because you all, you only need one person to do it. If they can do it, they're human just like yourself. Why not you? You know, and that's why when 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 people obviously I see people start property and they quit, it it baffles me. I just can't understand why would you. Like, why would you quit? Like, you've seen not one, but multiple people do it. Why would you not just stick stick with it until it works? Because it definitely works. If you're not getting the results, then the common denominator is yourself. All you have to do is just improve yourself. That's it. Did you ever doubt yourself? Of course. I doubt myself all the time. I doubt myself almost every single day. I think if you don't doubt yourself, I think, I, I think you're not human. Um, I do doubt myself 100% of the time. But obviously, my doubts, they differ. You know, um, you know, as you grow, um, at the beginning, I was doubting if I can obviously get started in property. And I had the right to doubt myself. Why? Because no one in my family is successful in, in any way, shape or form. There's not one family member of mine in the UK that I know who's got a business. No, I've got nobody who's, who's got... The only property that they have is, is their residential house that they've been living in. So, you know, of course, I had all the right to doubt myself because there's no one that came from where I came from I know who's doing what I'm doing. So it was always like, you know, going into new waters. So, do you know, like sometimes your environment dictates where you go? Of course. Of but it shows that not to go that path. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I was saying to somebody the other day, you know, I've got, I've got three brothers, right? My eldest brother, he, he did, he was the best academically. He had the best grades. He went to the best schools and, um, you know, I love him. You know, he lives in the UK. He lives in Northampton. But when my wife Ellen saw him, she's like, are you sure this is your brother? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> she's like, he's nothing like you. Like, he doesn't look like you. 
He's got no energy like you. He's got no drive like you. He obviously just wants to just, you know, be on benefits. You know, that's the, he just wants to make enough money just to cover his, you know, bears and his and his fags. And listen, man, I, I obviously, you know, uh, you know, that's what he wants to do. I appreciate him. I, I don't look at him any less than I am. But we came from the exact same house. We had the exact same upbringing. But he chose to obviously, you know, choose the life that he has because of the cards that he was dealt. I choose to have the life that I, you know, that I have now also because of the cards that I was dealt. But it was a different point of view. I'm thinking like, cool, that's why I got started and that's why I need to do it. Yeah. And he probably was like, oh, this, this is why I got started. So, of course, I'm not going to make it. So, I think it's all about, you know, watching... It's all about perspective. Look, looking at the cup half empty or looking at the cup half full. I choose yeah. to look at it half full and, it, and it's proven to be working for me. So I'll keep looking half full. I want to thank you for tuning in and liking and being so engaging. Uh, I'm loving the love and the support you're showing me every single episode. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you follow us on all our social media and leave all your comments and your burning questions in the comment section down below. If you're listening to us through the audio platforms spotify itunes or if you're watching us on youtube do not forget to give us a subscribe thank you for tuning in to the diaries of success i was your host hajar Beyaz. until the next episode do not forget to live your best life <laughs>